you would have always wished developing a software without getting your hands at complex coding. So transform your vision into reality. If you can dream it, you can build it faster and simpler than ever before. Say goodbye to complex codes and say hello to creativity with Pixpa, a low code platform. Also, join our community on Great Learning Academy to get full access to this course, Pixpa, a low code platform, where you will learn in detail what is a low code all about and then develop a website using Pixpa in a very few simple steps. Okay, so let's talk about low code tools. So before going ahead, I'll tell you what low code tools are. So low code tools are the platforms that help you create application or develop a software with minimal coding. When I say minimal coding, that doesn't mean that you don't have to write 100 lines of code. Suppose you're developing an application earlier with, you know, uh, native coding or platforms in 1000 lines. Now you have to write only 50 lines. It's nothing like that. It's like it will require 100 lines, but the other 50 lines might be written by the application or the tool which you are using to develop the software. And you as a programmer or a developer has to only write few lines of code and your application or a software is ready. That is what is minimalistic coding or I would better phrase it as minimalistic manual coding. And low code tools are platforms. So what do you mean by platforms here? Platforms I say because uh, these low code tools could be cloud based tools. It could be a independent software which you have to install it in your computer to use it or it could be a plugin which you have to, uh, you know, attach it to any of the IDs which you are using to write a code for. So that's the reason it, it can be any of these platforms which I talked about right now. But using these, you have to write very minimal code and you will be able to develop the software in within few minutes. How is it possible now? If you don't have to write code, someone else will be there writing code for you. So the application, these tools, low code tools will be writing code for you. How? With the help of some predefined templates, with the help of drag and draw features or some kind of a GUI based tools. Predefined templates, for example, if you are developing a website, a website can have a template, right? Meaning the header will come here, some images will come at the right side. Some text will come or a paragraph should come on the left side. There should be a header or a footer, right? There should be a drop down menus at this place. So these kind of templates can be there. If some uh, one provides you these templates and you just have to edit it according to your own uh, you know, choices, that is what is low code tools does for you. Similarly, drag and drop features. Coming to the programming example. In programming, we generally have if else loops, conditional statements, exception handling codes, Right? May it be any programming language. These are the concepts there. Suppose there is a drag and draw feature for if else loop, for a for loop. You just have to drag that if else loop and you know change the operators or change the variables according to your requirement or according to your code. So this is what drag and draw feature is. Now drag and draw feature can also be for creating a graphical user interface for an application. Right? Look, suppose you have to uh, you know design a button or design a text box. You just have to drag it. Uh, onto your uh, drawing panel and thus it will create the text box, meaning it will write down the coding at the back end automatically for creating a text box in the front end. So this is a drag and draw feature. So all these kind of features are used by these low code tools to help you or me as a developer to write down less coding. With the help of these, you will be able to develop applications very quickly. Why? Because less time will be required. Earlier you need to write 1000 lines of code. Now suppose you are required to write just 50 lines of code. I am just telling you this randomly. Although this is a topic of research that how much exactly or how much percentage exactly has low code tools help developers to write down less code. Right? But yeah, vaguely we can say suppose 50%. Less manpower is needed. Earlier in the companies to develop a software, Sometimes 50 or 100 or thousands of developers used to be there working on multiple projects. Suppose one project, 10 developers are working. But now, if those developers are using these low code tools, five developers would be enough. So less manpower is also needed. Now, coming to some other aspects of low code tools, like this was the brighter side, now coming to the darker side of it, not scalable to large applications. Meaning, 
if you have developed an application or you develop a software for suppose uh, supporting 100 users and later on you have to scale that software to 1 crore users that would be a difficult task when it comes to low code tools because some low code tools i won't say it for all because nowadays uh, there are certain low code tools which will help you to scale it to infinite number or to whatever number you want for the users but some uh, low code tools are still not that scalable limited customization with no platform migration so no platform migration is something you should un understand here that suppose i have developed a website using a low code tool called pixpa i want to change it to some other low code platform i want the same website to you know customize it or maybe use some features of some other low code tool that is a difficult task right suppose i am using bubble for example which is a complete uh, you know low code tool or i can say it's a no code tool in place of low code i want to shift uh, some application developed on that to pixpa it's not possible right because there are different customization there are different templates there are different uh, coding at, done at the back end which will not be supportive for the applications developed on different uh, tools different low code tools right and limited customization option is also there for example if suppose i have developed a website in pixpa and uh, there are few html css codes are written at the back end but i want to change that html code and css code completely you uh, know something new i want there that would be restricted there would be a customization option available but to a certain extent fully customization or full customization basically will not be available to the developer or to the user okay so these are all the aspects about low code tools now let's talk about what is pixpa it is also a low code tool as i have already mentioned but we'll try to first understand theoretically what is pixpa what are its different features which it provides what are different pricing plans and then uh, what are different uh, you know reasons you should use pixpa for once this is done then we'll go ahead with the hands on of creating a website using pixpa so what is pixpa first of all it's a website creation tool meaning you can develop a website using pixpa when i say develop a website it's not just a static dummy website that runs on your local host but a full fledged dynamic website can be developed using pixpa you can have your uh, own url as well for that you have to take uh, the supporting plans or you can have the website with the domain name pixpa.com but if you want your own domain name also you can do that as well but you have to buy the server space and all that process has to be done but that process you don't have to do you just have to avail any one of the features or you can say one of the pricing plans of pixpa and then automatically the support will be given to you from this tool it was developed initially by a person named gurpreet singh he developed this to aid the photographers and artist to showcase their work so initially it was developed with this idea pixpa offers the support of built in online store meaning you can showcase your work along with that you can sell your products as well for example uh, you are a photographer and you want to put your photographs for sale okay so you can put those photographs uh, you know as an item there and i'll show you in hands on session how exactly it is done but right now i could only tell you is that you can put those products that photographs for sale as well for example you can mention how many photographs are there you can attach a photo of uh, whatever you want to sell that photograph and then uh, what quantity it is you can add the users as well users can make online payment they can buy the product online or you can say the order it online and once it is shipped you can decrement that number or you can remove that product from there as well all these support for an online store which should be there is provided by pixpa then there is an integrated blog meaning you can write a blog and you can you know advertise your website which you have created on that blog and this is the integrated blog feature which is there in pixpa then there are client galleries as i said that initially uh, this person gurpreet singh developed this tool to help the photographers and artist artist basically so he has specifically mentioned or given a feature called as client gallery where uh, you know a gallery is there where you know just have to 
link that gallery page to your website and once a you, person who is visiting the website clicks to that link or goes to that page he or she can explore the complete client gallery uh, which a person has put on his website also apart from you know these artists and photographers to showcase their work or any xyz person who want to showcase any kind of their work can use this website apart from that also if you are developing a website uh, for other in other domains not just artistic domains but also in it and software domains like uh, you want to develop a website in civil or mechanical domain in civil domain suppose you, as, as a design consulting firm you want to have a website where you could showcase the different uh, civil design structures you have worked on you can have a website using pixpa in mechanical domain also if you are and you want to showcase the different models of the maybe car engines you have worked on or any any such field which is not just artistic field it and software civil mechanical you just need a website you can go and use this pixpa loco tool and develop your website there there is a support for different templates which you can use depending upon which kind of website you want to develop and then you can use it accordingly apart from this you can also develop a portfolio website for example you want to design a portfolio for you or i can say a simple resume if for that matter you want to put your resume in a more artistic way you can use uh, pixpa to create a website for that a single page website can also be created using pixpa you can create that put your uh, resume in a more artistic or you know visually appealing way not just website but also a support for mobile device applications are also there for example the same website how it is going to look on a mobile device automatically it will be customized uh, depending upon the size how it should be on the mobile device you don't have to put an extra effort to make it you know customize it or change the settings or change the icons text and images on a website to adjust it to a mobile device this will be automatically done at the back end let's start with the hands on session where we i'll be developing a website using pixpa so let me tell you what all exactly i'm going to do here so first we'll install pixpa there's nothing as such installation you just have to use uh, pixpa.com it's a website which will help you develop a website so just have to go to that website log in and start using it so that's the installation part then we'll explore the features first what all different features are there where all these options are available to you how you can use it uh, i'll tell you all that and then we'll create a small website just to demonstrate all the aspects of uh, you know pixpa the website name here i have given a random name that is my world my work where uh, this website will actually be dealing with the different diy products uh, which i uh, you know work on so all those product diy products images are there which we can upload it to this website and and see how you can arrange uh, you know all the different pages of our website for this particular website my world my work okay before going ahead i'll tell you also what will be the different uh, tabs i want in my website here itself so that it's easy when i go and start creating the website okay so in the website we'll be having three tabs one will be your home tab and the other will be your uh, work where uh, different segments will be there for work like uh, fashion uh, gardening and uh, uh, home decor and the fourth uh, option will be for add ons like if something else apart from these fields i want to you know publish it on my website this will be the page for that so under work page i could say these will be the four pages and four tabs or pages whatever you can say and then one home tab and then one will be your contact right so i'll be just having three tabs like you have seen a website in which there will be on the top different tabs which you can click and go on the respective web page so there it will be home work and contact and under work we'll have fashion gardening home decor and one for add ons right so this will be the basic structure of the website which i'm going to develop now you can individually edit every page so if i want to edit so i'll edit one and i'll show you rest all the other pages you can edit it accordingly so if i go to these three dots here and click on edit content it will take you to the edit section over here now from here you can either delete this this is a section complete section the tools to edit is edit it is over here you can delete it you can 
move it slide it down uh, you know after another element another section or you can move it up you can duplicate it to the other page you can have other settings for this so i'll go to the section setting here so you can see the section is like how you want the width of this image which is there at the back it uh, how you want it to be then height inner padding and all that is option is available now how you want to have the same website on the mobile device you can click on this and manage section heights on mobile device if you don't check click this checkbox then it will automatically adjust and will be done visibility everyone desktop only mobile app hidden scroll icons you want to be light or dark color so all these uh, options are available here you want the certain border to be defined like the color the style the size of these so if i change it the desktop size to be maybe uh, Four, six position how you want bottom top left right and everything different separators are there you can use these separators and then customize it accordingly right so all these options are available otherwise you want to edit just the content style so you can go here meaning the content which is already present you want to just change the style of it and keep everything like that then you can go to this uh, setting content style okay medium content width full width site width how you want so if i i'll click on this uh, accordingly you can decide alignment you can see it's left aligned center aligned or right aligned so let it be center aligned it looks good so position how you want it's in center right now you want at the top you want at the bottom uh, depends how you want to organize things i'll leave it leave it as it is it's in the center looks good okay you can change the color of it right now the color uh, is white right so you can select accordingly how you want so if you want black color right now it was selected as white you can multi, i mean select any other color as well you can go with red you can go with whatever color you feel is good i'll let it be white coming to background image so you can upload a different image if you don't want this so yeah i don't want this because it's not fitting to the theme which we have like my world my uh work so i'll upload a different background image so i have already kept this images downloaded so you can just select that particular image from your local machine or that laptop so yeah it's there so you can fit it little properly so you can go to background image scale and fit you can do or fit to width you can do so this looks good right fit to width let it be like that Uh, transparency you want or you don't want how is that you can decide that so i am letting it be a little transparent you want to animate the background image so yeah checkbox is there it will animate it animate it according to its own uh, support like whatever it supports animation for the background image is inbuilt there the coding has been done you just have to click this radio button you can specify the alt tag so alt tag is something like you know when there is a slow connection and your website doesn't properly loads and in place of an image the image cannot load because it's of more uh, pixels or uh, heavier size then it displays some text right click to view or image cannot be loaded that is your alt tag here you can mention that so click to view is what i'm going to write done so you have, once you have done the settings you can save it okay then there are uh, you can set the focal points as well uh, on your image So these are the settings options available through this content style. So you can see publish option is there. You can publish it uh, your website once it is done. So now tentatively the website is ready. You can customize other aspects of it on your own and check how the complete website looks uh, by the end of this course. And then you can publish this as well online. But publishing is only available if you take the paid version, as I have already told you. and it will provide you the server space it will take care of how to host your website onto the server how it is to be made available to everybody and uh, how to take space how to pay there for the server space and all that will be taken care you just have to take the appropriate pricing plan and then you can publish your website online to be visible to everybody so that was all about how you can create a website using pixpa